Here are the facts. After three months of investigating on the flat earth model, I finally found the 100% proof that the earth is not a globe. And that's how I found it. This video is called Go Fast 2014. You can check out the full video, link is in the description. Basically, this video is a world record for the highest private rocket ever launched into space and you can see the full flight without any cuts filmed from three onboard cameras. The highest attitude is about 120 kilometers or 73 miles. That's so amazing, I always searched for a video like this. Unfortunately, it appears that the camera have fisheye lenses, however, the earth still looks flat. I was watching this video at least a hundred times and analyzed it frame by frame hoping to find a proof for either the flat earth or the globe earth model. And then it hit me. The moon. You can clearly see the moon in this videos. Would that even be possible if the earth is a globe? If I check the position of the moon at the date and time the video was taken and it turns out that the moon would be underneath the curvature, it would prove that the earth is not a globe. The video was shot on the 14th of July 2014. Unfortunately, I couldn't find the time the rocket was launched and I would need a time to get the exact position of the moon. So I started investigating to find an approximate time when the rocket was launched. I found this video that was taken a few moments before the rocket was launched. I did two circles around the rocket. landed safely. Now the next morning I did a short flight just before the rocket launched. Did you hear what he said? He said the next morning I did a short flight just before the rocket launched. That means the rocket was launched somewhere in the morning. It looks clear the sun is already out so it can't be that early in the morning. However after the launch, they were flying in a helicopter to see where the rocket comes down. For a split second in this video, you can see a GPS device in the helicopter, which shows the time. And the time is 11.40. So the launch must be between approximately 8 o'clock at the morning and 11 a.m. The rocket was launched in the Black Rock Desert in Nevada, USA. 
In July, Nevada's time zone is Pacific Daylight Time, which is UTC minus 7. Now, let's check out where the moon was at this time. I'm using timeanddate.com and trying to find where the moon was on the 14th of July from 15 o'clock UTC to 18 o'clock UTC. As you can see, by the time the rocket was launched, the moon was in this area, right over Australia. So, if the Earth is a globe, it would be impossible to see the moon from Nevada because the moon would basically be on the other side of the globe. To imagine this better, there's this website called solarsystemscope.com and you can also simulate a date and time here and I also put the right date in. I'm not sure about the time zone here, so I just placed it so the moon would be above Australia like we saw it on timeanddate.com so if the earth is a globe and if this is our solar system then tell me how is it possible to see the moon which would be here from Nevada, USA, which is here. It's impossible. So if you say that the Earth is a globe, please tell me how this is possible. 